quick little tutorial on our Portofino. We got our key here. We're gonna focus that. We got unlock, lock, this is the trunk release, and then this will be to turn on the interior dome lights. We'll start here in the trunk. I click and hold. I'll click this little button here if it'll let me do it. Locked itself on me. So, pop the trunk. I've got our rear shelf here. This shelf must be down to operate the top. So I can lift that up. It gives me more space. See, we've got our car cover here, our books. This will be a screen for uh, our wind deflector for the rear seats. And you've got your cargo net here as well. So if I fold that down, I can operate the top. Um, do not put anything on the sides here. The top mechanism will rest right there whenever the top comes down. Most important part on a Ferrari these days is going to be the charger. You're going to install that right there. There's a little uh, magnetic um, attachment that you'll, you'll just add uh, to this port here underneath. So this will be the license plate and then you've got your port. This right here is going to be the button that I just pressed to release the trunk. You've got your camera here as well. So close that up. We'll go up front to unlock the actual car. So my front bonnet release is underneath. We'll hit that. Here I've got my engine bay. Not much to do up here. You do have your windshield washers right there. Your fluid will take care of everything else. Uh, service wise, you have free maintenance for the first seven years of your ownership. So it all set there. That's about it up here. That is where the magic happens, but it's not where, where we need to touch anything. We'll let the technicians handle that. seat back. So in the door here, you'll have your rear bonnet, memory positions for the seats. I'll press the start button one time. It puts me in accessory mode. Turn down my radio here using this knob. Two pads. One's going to be on this side of my back. This is going to be my um, cruise control. I resume, increase, and decrease for the cruise control here. And then this will navigate this screen. So I'm going to click that button. I click the center of this. That closes the screen I was on. I can then turn it and it will allow me to go through the different screens. The vehicle setting or for the vehicle screen or status. Uh, I've got trip got VDA, turbo, and then settings. So if I go to trip, show you how fast you've been. Click and hold to clear, which I've just done. Again, click and hold to clear. Click back. Here's my vehicle dynamic assistance screen. So this Manatino will change what's going on here. So if I put it in sport on the Manatino, it'll change my system. This is ESC off, so just click and hold this up, and I'll turn that off. So we'll let that go away. So this screen here is gonna show uh, your F1 traction control, so your forward traction control is gonna be most act or least active, uh, obviously other than ESC off, which turns it off. Your F1DC is your gearbox, your ESC is your side slip, your E-diff is gonna be your differential, how quick that locks up, that really helps with turn in. Your SCM is gonna be your suspension. I can hit this button here, and now I've got comfort suspension. So it was illuminated in white, now it is green, showing that it's in comfort mode. So everything else is in the sportier mode, but you still got comfort suspension, which is a really nice Nice touch included with the Magnaride uh, suspension option. If I click it back to comfort, 
everything else goes to comfort. So most of the time when I'm gonna be driving it, I'm gonna drive in comfort or sport. Um, let's see. We'll go to the steering wheel here shortly. Turbo gauge, just kind of a fun gauge. You've got your boost, response, and efficiency. And then our settings here, we've got our car settings, so I can go through and change parking sensors. Let's do that. So I typically don't choose the auto under six miles per hour because it'll kind of get annoying if you're at a stoplight. Um, your parking sensors will just start going off, you know, as the cars are around you. And um, so I just leave that off under six. Doors lock with the key or lock with whenever you start driving. You've got unlock whenever you um, click the key. So you can do driver only or all. This one has it selected as all, I'll leave it that way. You've got a speed limit. Let's see, make sure that's off. We don't like speed limits around here. And then we've got our auto hazard. So auto hazard, once I hit a certain braking threshold, um, my hazards will flip on in the rear. Kind of a cool, uh, cool trick. Um, buzzer volume is just going to be the you know the sounds that uh, you're going to get for warning stuff like that. Your light sensor is going to be how uh, how reactive the, the the lighting system is to um, the light outside. RPM on steering wheel. And we're going to go back here. So I've got dimming. Dimming is going to be for the display. I've got right display, which chooses how this is shown here. So I've got digital speedometer, which is how it is currently. And then I can choose analog, which is still digital, but it looks analog. Um, so I like digital, I'll leave it there. Kind of a quick, quick and easy to read. Uh, date and hour is how you would change the date and hour. Language, you can change whichever language you like everything to be in. Measurement units, Service is going to be, uh, you know, when service is due. So this one's got another year or another 12,500 miles. Then calibrate TPMS on these, you just click it. Once the, the TPMS is set, uh, or once your tire pressure is set to the correct pressure, you'll click that, drive for a bit, and that'll reset for you. So we're done with that screen. Our steering wheel here, actually, I'll start right over here. So we've got our parking, uh, parking brake right here. I'll just Pull to engage or disengage right now. I don't have my foot on the brake, so it's not going to do that. And the car's not on, so I don't really want to do that. Um, this is going to be how you switch through uh, your light settings. I just leave it in auto. You got you know, reverse fog or low beam, I'm sorry. Uh, so that'll just turn your lights on manually. You can see them there or off. Um, you can do a reverse fog. You can do your parking lights, stuff like that. But again, I just leave it in auto. Um, on the back of the steering wheel, it's kind of hard for me to show, but there's going to be a volume button, so you can hear the volume going up. Click OK on that screen. So right here, I'm scrolling up and down with the volume. You can also click it to mute. 